Hello everybody, I'm Dan. Welcome to my Java tutorial series. Throughout my tutorials I will teach you Java using just Notepad and the command prompt. The order in which my tutorials are organized on both my website at javacjava.com and my YouTube playlist is designed to maximize learning by building on concepts from prior tutorials. This tutorial is about the buffered writer class. I'm going to open up my web browser to my website javacjava.com and select begin. I'm going to scroll all the way down to the uh, buffered writer class here. So the buffered writer class is used to write text to a character stream. Now this tutorial builds on concepts from my buffered reader tutorial, output stream writer tutorial, and my file writer tutorial. I highly recommend watching them first. This tutorial will demonstrate writing to an output stream first, first to the console, and then to a text file. The buffered writer class has three overloaded versions of the write method. I will uh, be demonstrating the one that takes a string parameter. The buffer writer class introduces a method named newLine, which means that you will not have to hard code in the um, escape sequence characters for basically carriage return and newLine into your output stream anymore. The buffer writer class implements auto closable, so we can use the try with resources type exception handling. Let's go ahead and come down here and highlight all the source code. Control C to copy or right click and select copy. Let's move the browser off screen and I've got a shortcut to the command prompt on my desktop but if you don't you can create one really fast by right clicking selecting new shortcut. CMD next and finish. It's just that easy. Let's go ahead and open it up. Type in Java C and enter. You should see all this stuff scroll by. If you receive an error message watch my tutorial on installing the Java development kit. You want to make sure you get that installed and configured properly before continuing. CLS to clear the screen, cd space backslash cd is short for change directory backslash tells it to go to the root. We make a directory with the md command here called java and I already have that but if you don't I'm going to create it for you. I'm change directories in the java folder. I'm going to make a directory here called uh, bw short for buffered writer. Let's change directories to that folder. I'm going to notepad uh, bw.java. bw.java will be the name of my source code file also known as compilation unit. Okay, let's go ahead and hit Control V to paste that in, or you can right click and select paste. Let's come up here and save this. Oh, yeah, the first thing I'm doing is importing the uh, Java I.O. package. Simple class here, a method entry point there. Um, okay, so on the first statement, basically I'm using the try with resources syntax here. So I'm putting this statement inside of those parentheses. So since it implements, since buffered writer implements auto closable, as does output stream writer as well, um, it will go ahead and invoke the close method when it when uh, basically it finishes the the try block here. So that'll close out all of our resources and make sure everything's all all pretty there, and we don't have to worry about doing that ourselves, um, which is oftentimes forgot by the way. So. On the first statement here, buffer writer type bw reference variable setting that equal to a new instance of buffer writer, and I'm wrapping an output stream writer, and I'm, well, I'm wrapping basically system out, which is the standard output, which defaults to the console. Okay, so then I'm invoking the write method, and I'm invoking the version overloaded version of the write method that takes a string parameter there, and I'm writing basically that string literal to the console, right? And then I am invoking the new line method, which will basically do a carriage return and line feed. Then I'm writing this string literal and invoking another new line method there. All right, let's go ahead and just let's comment out the rest of this here real quick and just run that run, run that fast so we can see it there before we continue on. All right, let's clear our screen. Java C to compile this. Java BW to run it. Okay, so. Type whatever you want to go into a file called sample.txt. Type exit um, on a new line and enter to stop writing to the file. Okay, we're going to use this later on here. So the next thing I'm going to do is we're just going to write something to a file called example.txt. Let's move our uh, multi-line comment down here. So what this is going to do, say buffer writer, and instead of a new output stream writer to the standard output, we're going to wrap buffer writer we're going to wrap file writer, right, with buffer writer in here. Create a new file writer called example.txt, okay? And then we're going to write the string literal, hello buffer, buffer writer, and the new line, and then this string literal right here too as well, and then a new line. So let's go ahead and just save this. We'll, we'll let this do its thing up here, but we're ultimately looking to notepad up this example.txt file right here, okay? Let's uh, clear our screen, Java C, recompile. Oh, I want to compile the doc 
class file. Let's file the appropriate one there. Let's go to our screen and run this here. All right, um, so let's do a directory here. Right, and here's our example.txt that it just created there. All right, let's go ahead and notepad example. Actually, before that, I'm going to show you something. Uh, there's another DOS command called type, right? Uh, we can do example.txt. And it basically just displays, you know, the contents of that file to the, to the console there. So it's basically what we got there. But just for grins and giggles, I'm going to go ahead and do example.txt as well. Notepad it up here. So that's exactly what we expected there. Okay. It's so a nice, quick, clean, easy way to create a file there. All right, let's go ahead and come back to this. All right, so the last thing that I want to do is just basically do, uh, in this section of code right here, what we're going to do is we're going to do a new buffer reader, right? And we are going to wrap input stream reader, right? Buffer reader. We're going to wrap that and basically the system.in. System.in is, of course, the standard input, which by default is the keyboard. So we are going to type into the keyboard, right? And then I'm going to invoke the read line method there, which returns back a string called input string. So while input string, while it's not basically equal to exit, so if we type in exit and then enter, it's going to break us out of this while loop. Okay, but while we're in the while loop, I'm going to create a new buffered, write, a buffered writer uh, reference variable here to a new buffer writer object and of course we're wrapping file writer sample text and we're throwing that extra one with the parameter in there true which means that it will append is what this one here um, with that argument I'll specify and then we're going to simply write input stream and a new line catch any IO exceptions no, don't expect really any this is so simple there and then we'll read the line again right so when we read the line again, if we get, if input string then equals exit, that'll break us out of this while loop and then we're good to go. All right, so let's go ahead and just save this here. And let's clear our screen and let's run this. Um, compile it first. Compile it right, file this time. Okay. All right, so our cursor is down here and basically it's doing what's it's called blocking, right? Which is, Basically, it's almost like looping, waiting for input there is a way to think of that. So I'm just going to do the, uh, the quick brown fox jumped, jumps over the lazy dog, right? And enter on that. And then I'm going to go uh, the sentence above is called a handbrand. I believe it's pangram. Hopefully it's pangram. The phrase contains all the letters of the alphabet. Okay, and then I'll type in exit on, it's case sensitive too, I'm just checking for uppercase exit on that. Let's go ahead and enter on that, and that'll break us out. So now if we do a directory here, we got this sample text here. And let's just go ahead and notepad sample text. And here's what we got. So now we uh, basically whatever we typed in there went into the file and typed in exit and that, that basically ended that. So um, that's really all I got for you there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. Um, yeah, I really don't, don't have anything else to add for that. Let's go ahead and get rid of that, get rid of that. And I'll just leave you with just a quick final thought there. And that's, uh, very simple, you know, the buffer writer class comes in very handy for, you know, writing lines of text to a file. So that concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.